Good morning from Eindhoven. Well, this is what happens when you miss the bus in the morning. It's game day two for GB, and today they take on Estonia, looking to make it two wins out of two. What a dramatic night it was last night. That win over Croatia, five seconds remaining. Mark Richardson scores, and then the overtime winner, 11 seconds into that extra period. We talk a bit more about that. We'll preview the game. It was just one of those most memorable nights it would be to be a GB fan, and I think the GB fans parted well into the night. So, plenty to talk about in this day of all days, because GB have a game against Estonia and looking to make it two wins out of two. Also, a very special day indeed for one man in particular, Russ Cowley wins his 50th GB cap. We have plenty to talk about, and we go inside the dressing room once more to see the exclusive shots from Russ Cowley on his 50th cap. We just want to make the 50 cap presentation to Russ Cowley. Brilliant. Good start yesterday, same again today, guys. To the game. <laughs> game two of the Ice Hockey World Championships in Eindhoven. GB looking for their second win against Estonia, the lowest ranked team in this competition, but they will be in on a high, having been promoted last time round. And now David Phillips opens one up, finds Lakovic's left side, crosses the blue line. His pass is poor though. Ruber will take away. He then loses a his skate, GB breaking with Phillips, right up the middle, Phillips, one-on-one, -on -one. Phillips, can he score? Oh, he misses off the bar, I think. And Shields will collect again. Well, here's Phillips' chance, we're getting a chance to see the replay here. Does it, flicks off the crossbar. Did everything right there, Jono, it's great to watch it. On the blue line, Ruber collects again, he's huge. Steps to the top of the circle, no look pass. Makarov is waiting left side, he wants the one-timer, that's where it goes, one-timer, deflects off the skate, great save, bounce, denied it on the deflection, that was going in and he readjusted, it came off the defenceman and bounced, stones Estonia. That's a great reaction save to, uh, for a big guy, big goalie to adjust his body position like that so quickly. GB have 34 more seconds, back door, chance for Shields, this time he shoots, well saved, rebound pops out, can GB get there, they can't. It's going to be cleared away and we're going to see a break. Ruber, this is like deja vu all over again. Ruber though, stick, just lifted at the last second. Penalty shot given though. He was clear of everybody. And the Finnish referee said as the stick was lifted, it was a hook on the arm. I think we'll have to see that again. The referee was obviously a lot closer to it. But uh, a very good breakaway. Ruber so strong. And as he tries to pull the trigger here, he just got a little hook from Colin Shields. Well, it didn't look like he got anywhere near the stick. Oh, he did. Yeah, he's on, he he's on the hand. The glove. Yeah. No, fair, yeah. fair play to the referee. He got that absolutely bang on. So Ruber, he's had the best chance of the game so far. 21 years of age, from talent, six foot three, makes the move back inside, misses. He cut back to the forehand, and he just ran out of room. He had bounce beaten, and GB lead a charmed life here. I think Bouncy did just enough there, if we look at that again. Just enough to put the player off, really. He almost played the player rather than the puck. He did. He, so he's, he he's, just took his back leg away as he was about to shoot, and uh, we'll take that. Lots of the players from Estonia play in Finland, come through the, uh, come through the systems there. A few of them playing in Sweden as well as GB will break out of their own zone. David Phillips leads the rush, top of the circle, let's go, he scores! Low slap shot, stick side, and David Phillips marks this game with the opener. A really good low hard slap shot, but that was about the speed of the break from Great Britain. And Phillips let it go. And GB lead Estonia by one goal to nil. That's what we were talking about. GB can generate the pace and play with the offense speed. We, uh, that we saw yesterday, that will create opportunities. And uh, that was so reminiscent of, of Mark Richardson's overtime winning goal yesterday. Lovely pass across this time from uh, Weaver rather than O'Connor to Phillips instead of Richardson.
giveaway in the zone though, it was O'Connor. This could be a chance, Ruba scores five hole, and Estonia equalised. Huge giveaway from GB, and Ruba, at the fourth time of asking, finally finds the net. And GB, after a good sustained spell of pressure, get careless, and Estonia are back on level terms. Yeah, he'll be disappointed with himself, Ben, there. That was uh, a little careless loss of control of the puck, and it just fell really, really nicely for Estonia. Good finish and a game-tying goal, but, uh, you know, Ben is so influential, he needs to put that out of his mind, go back. He's a player that has the ability to create something the other way and get the lead back. One one we're tied. Play has been almost completely in the Estonian zone and GB's got to be so careful that Estonia don't come and hit them with a sucker punch here. Dowd behind the net. He's gonna to have to go up high to Weaver. Weaver with a two-man screen, it goes all the way through, hits the goalie in the glove. Knew nothing about Bad it. Penalty coming. GB. Good work down low, and GB have it with Weaver. They've got a six on five for the moment. It's with David Phillips. David Phillips will shoot into the body. GB rebounds. Yes! Oh! Finished off. And it's Robert Farmer who puts it home. And the period of pressure pays for Great Britain. 5.50 to go in the game, and finally they lead by two goals to one, a delayed penalty goal. Phillips great instrumental. Reward there. Great reward for a tremendous period of pressure. And uh, Ben Barnes, the moment he saw the hand go up with the penalty, he was off the ice so fast so that we could get the six forward on. And uh, just outnumbering Estonia, and that's just a, a, a reward for a tremendous period of hard work. Everybody chasing down everything. That is a great sight. Matthew Myers wins it. Sends it back, and GB can just take this one deep before trying to get it clear. Farmer will sweep it into neutral ice. 20 seconds to go. Shamikin still in his net. He's looking to the bench now. He's eventually he's gone. He's gone. Farmer has it on the boards. The extra man on for Estonia. There he goes. The Estonians will try and make something happen. Goes behind the net. And Auxi has it on the blue line, opens things up. GB, they've got to be aware as now the buzzer goes and they've won this one. Second victory in a row for Great Britain to start this tournament. But goodness me, was that ever hard work as Estonia pushed them all the way. And GB are eventually 2-1 winners here. Uh, Pete, relief uh, for you there. I told you at the end of the second period and some of those games aren't easy and that it's only a battle hard. They play around on the net. We had to work hard to get goals and they got it. Do you know what I mean? There's always going to be games like this and others came today after such a big one and such an emotional thing last night with the late game. But you know what? Hey, where do you want 10 to 2 1? It doesn't matter. They worked hard and they got it done. Yeah, it was that it was that perseverance, wasn't it? You 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 know, you urged them to relax yeah. and I think they finally did. I don't think they're the, they're a six seed team as team. Not for a minute. I think they'll be higher. Number, than that. Team, number ten, Robert Farmer. Confirmation there that Robert Farmer got man of the match just quickly. He, he battled all night, yeah, Farmer. Strong in the balls at the end when the goalie was out as well. So you know what? There's a little bit of pressure on Steve when you're supposed to win, it's hard. Don't forget that. You know what I mean? Now we're in a massive game against a top, top team coming up. And we have a chance now, you know what I mean? And that's, that's all you ask for, a chance. I'm proud of them. I think they got on with it and you can see it was, means a lot to them. Ben O'Connor, congratulations. It, it won't go down as the prettiest performances, but I guess you got the job done. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Pete just uh, had a meeting in the dressing room and he said, that's our fourth game in six nights. Two tough games against the Polish. Tough game last night. So, you know what? good teams find a way to win and that's what we did tonight. Do you leave this rink happy or, or frustrated that you weren't at top best as a team? I think you just got to take it as a win. At the end of the day, you, you'll take a win in this competition any way you can. We know we weren't at our best today. We've got a day off tomorrow with a practice session, so we'll just fine tune some things and come back into the uh, Thursday's game better. Yeah, and I guess it's about momentum for that big game against Korea. Yeah, I mean, we're not worried when, you know, what, we got the win and we, uh, we, we did what we had to do, and unfortunately it wasn't the prettiest game, but that's sometimes the way it goes. 
obviously people remember you for your goal. You've been scoring a lot for GB recently, but also defensive sides. That the Makarov breakaway today that you came back and snuffed out. I gather he's someone you played with. Yeah, played with him for a little while in Kazakhstan. Uh, I know he's more of a disher, and uh, the first time he came down, he shot. So came back and uh, I knew he was looking for the backdoor pass. So I just put my stick down and lucky enough hit my hand. You had to dig deep though in that third period because you know Estonia really took it to you at times. Yeah, you know they've got that one line of Makarov and I think it's Burbo. Uh, I think it is. He's a very good player, and you you got to keep your eye out for them because they stretch far. They look to cherry pick and stick around the blue line. So as a defenseman, uh, Tommy and Pete was really stressing to us just keep your head on a swivel and watch out from behind you. I know it's a couple of days away, but what's key for you in beating Korea? Well, we know what they're like from the last couple of years playing them. And uh, they're a fast team. The you know they're very fast. So we've got to be very good positionally, and just uh, stick to our systems. If we stick to our systems, stay in the right positions, I think uh, we'll be successful. Okay, well done. Thanks, Chris. Robert Farmer, well done. You've probably scored prettier game-winning goals. But I don't think you care tonight, do you? No, it was uh, it was great to get another win. I mean, we we obviously had that game yesterday, which we were all on a high from, and today maybe you know we didn't wasn't as smooth, but we got the win, and that's all that counts. Do you think that was one thing that the highs of, of last night, it, was it hard at first to kind of get into the game? Well, I think mostly the, we played a pretty good team today. I think the, I think if you underestimate them, they're going to beat you. And I think, you know, we, we always believed we were going to win the game and in the end we did and that's all that counts. Were you frustrated today or was it just patience with the key? No, it was, I don't think we get frustrated. I mean, we, we don't expect to go out and, and beat teams heavily. We just work hard and play as a team. And like I said, we battled to the end and, and we managed to get the goal that counted. Do you see signs that this team can go places? Other tournaments have gone off to poor starts in, in recent years, but that's two out of two now. Do you see a, a different GB to usual this year? Yeah, obviously, I mean, it comes from the top. We've, we've had a very, very good trip so far and we're a close team. And, and like I said, there's no panic on the bench. We're, we're very positive team and, and, it, and you can see like yesterday again we never panicked and we managed to get the equaliser late and then today again we, we won the game, we, we didn't panic, we were patient and we ended up winning both games. So another win for GB, the thoughts of the GB camp there, they left it late to come again and win this one, a battling performance, it wasn't always pretty but they won by two goals to one. We're outside here at the long track, they do speed skating here quite often here in Eindhoven and just behind us it is the fan zone, a real wonderful sight at any World Championship tournament. Again, delighted to say Seth Bennett from BBC Sport joins us. You caught the game on the website. How do you think GB played? Well, Chris, I think we all know, I think the, the admission in the interviews is it wasn't a great performance. It was a scrappy win. It was a squeaky win. But crucially, it was a win and it was a three-point win, which GB are going to need. Two for two out of the game so far. And what that means now is come the career game, Great Britain have got that great opportunity where they know victory then sets up a chance of a, a gold medal. Victory today sets up a chance of any colour medal. Mm. And that's got to be good because that's progress for Great Britain. Mm. Now, two guys on World Championship debut this week, Jonathan Boxall and, and Matt Hayward. You've picked up some things about them. Yeah, I think they're fitted in really well. Two selections. I don't know whether Boxall was necessarily a surprise selection for Pete Russell. But maybe Matt Haywood was, but Box Hill just fits so well into international hockey and particularly penalty killing. His energy and his work rate are phenomenal and he's been such a massive plus to this team because he goes out and gives you something every shift. Haywood's impressed me as well though. He's fitted in on a, a, a tough checking line with Phillips and the more experienced Russ Cowley as well. But he just seems to have blended very well. He's gone hard to the net, he's won battles on the board and he's given a really mature performance against some of the, the better teams that lines if you like some of the best players within the tournament so far so I think those have been two massive massive pluses I think the other one though that we've got to mention at this stage is Ben Bounds you know when he came in last year he came in as a, a 1A if you like this year he comes in as a number one bona fide top level netminder and he's shown it he's made superb saves in both games both games really where he's not had to be magnificent for long periods of time but he's made saves that have allowed Great Britain to be able to win the game, and particularly one kick save, mm. where he managed to stick out his left pad and at the very last second readjust his position and kick it away to safety. His rebound control has been very, very good. That's given Great Britain a chance to win the both the game so far. Now, the wins haven't been without their problems. The power play and the short-handed breakaways that they're giving up. Yeah, it's been a real issue. Against Croatia, Great Britain were given the warning, and that was repeated again with 
the performance today and, and the first power play of the game. And you looked at what Great Britain do, and, and what they do is that they try and play a 1-3-1. One, one. That means there's one guy in front of the goalie and one guy at the top, three stretched across the middle of the ice, usually around the hash marks. And what they're looking to do is, is get a one-timer. From either side of the ice, generally, your left-hand shot set up on the right side, your right-hand shot's on the left side. What happened today, as the puck went down low, all of a sudden, there was a turnover. And GB, and when you pause the tape here, you see four players beneath the face-off dot. That means problems because other teams know there's a lot of speed in this tournament. And all of a sudden, there you go. You, you either get a 1-0 on or a 2-1 on breakout the other way. That's exactly what happened. It led to a penalty shot on this occasion. Colin Shields just getting back and getting the, the tap on the gloves. Now, I say the Croatia game was shown as well. Glumach actually ended up scoring from, uh, from one of these. But before that, there was a warning sign again where Great Britain just found themselves in all kinds of problems. And this is something they've got to learn from. You can't keep making the same mistakes. And that's exactly what they've done. They've got to realise that if they play this system, there has to be a little bit of safety first, even when you're on the power play. Because you can't expose bounds, you can't expose the defenceman to a, a two-on-one, a three-on-one breakaway like this. And so that's something that... I don't want to be talking about. I don't want to be seeing any more in this competition. And I'm sure that Pete Russell will think about that. And he, that's something that he's going to be expressing to the players because just the caliber of opposition, particularly against the Koreans who kill penalties very well, they skate very well, and they're going to put an awful lot of pressure, particularly on the defenseman. The other thing, Chris, which creates this is the blocking of shots. They get in the shooting lanes. As soon as they take the shot away, they're off the, to the races. They've got the momentum. The defenseman's trying to turn around to get himself back. And again, you get those breakaways. So that's been one, not a big negative, but certainly something that GB need to work on on their off day. Thanks, Seth. The thoughts of Seth Bennett on the BBC Sport website. You can join him for all five games here from Eindhoven. Plenty to talk about in the coming days. We'll be looking ahead soon to the game against Korea. But so far, so good for GB. The 2-1 win over Estonia coming on the back of that win over Croatia. Thanks again for joining us on Ice Hockey UK TV in association with McDonald's. Next up, as I say, it's rest day. But as I mentioned, Thursday, the big one against Korea.